Hello friends, welcome back to Scotland Van Life 2.0. If you missed our last video, we returned our teeny tiny little minivan camper van and we got a nice new big one from Indy Campers. We spent yesterday exploring and then we had the most beautiful night in an incredible park up overlooking the town of Privy. Woke up this morning and walked down the cliffside to look at the ocean or the North Sea, I guess, and then uh, walk around and see what was down there. Was it beautiful? It was beautiful. Nice and chill, nice little breeze, and then some nice Scottish ladies from the next town over I took a little walk with, so. Oh, nice. Well, today we have driven to the town of Cullen because we have to try the world famous Cullen's King Soup. Yeah, I've had it before, but we had to go to the source, see what it's really about. Let's get it, mate. All right. Nah, 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 nah. So the Rockpool Cafe was unfortunately booked, so if you are planning to come to Colin, make sure you make a reservation ahead of time. But luckily, right behind me is, what's it called? The Seafield Arms. Seafield Arms, which is actually where they held the World Championship of Colin Skink Soup Making. So we're going to head there to try some. So the Colin Skink has arrived. And if you're not familiar with what this soup is, um, and we just learned this as well, it originally was made with beef shin, um, but when this area came on hard times, they couldn't afford the beef shin, so they turned to this locally smoked haddock. So it's like a creamy kind of broth with potatoes and then the smoked haddock. I think the last time we had this, it had a bunch of like herbs and different things, but this looks... Yeah, this one is like big. Big chunks of haddock. Oh my god, like a. Of like little pieces. Yeah, so. I know it looks incredible. And there's potatoes. Let's get a little bit of both here. Oh my gosh. I was unsure if I was going to like this. I'm not a big fan of smoked fish, but this is absolutely incredible. It looks kind of bland, but it is like exploding with flavor. It's creamy, it's salty, it's garlicky and the smokiness of the soup. This is good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's so good. You wanna try? Yeah, I think this one's like fresh smoked, whereas the one we had on the food tour in uh, Edinburgh was like probably delivered from up north, so it wasn't as fresh. This is like really flaky and like you just get a little smokiness, like it's just been done like earlier today. On their specials menu, we ordered the scallop starter that comes with black pudding, which obviously we had to order. And then it also came with this like mustard emulsion and smoked chorizo. I never would have thought to have black pudding with scallops. Let's give it a try. Mmm. This is incredible. So many different flavors going on, I don't even know how to explain it. But the smokiness of the chorizo and like the tanginess of the mustard. Mm. This is this is better than the soup. Yeah. It's really, really good. So oh. definitely stop by the Seafield Arms. Yes, and I'm glad the other place was closed because I mean we wouldn't have been able to try this. I think now it's time for a sweet treat. All right, so we've just taken our ice cream from the ice cream shop. A few steps down to this little picnic area overlooking the North Sea. And I have to say the ice cream is very tasty. I went with this two scoops, one of Iron Brew and then one of Honeycomb. And it even has these like little tiny honeycomb candies inside. Mm. The ladies were awesome in there too. Mm, they're so sweet. A bunch of fun. Yeah, that's a must stop for sure. This town has just the most local, like wholesome feel to it. It's so good. Lemon, what'd you get? I got I am bro. The nectar of the gods. I should just like inject this into my veins. <laughs> I know what we're gonna do when we leave uh, Scotland and the United Kingdom. Have to get this ship back to the, the US. Just pallets of iron brew. <laughs> we'll what, buy it. What about the candies? Mm. So we picked these up. We'll try them later as we're driving, but this is the Heather, uh, like, hard candies. Kind of like the Heather L we had in the last video, so. I think it's gonna be like kind of floral and sweet, so we'll see. They're a local Scottish tradition. 
I think. Our maybe. Van's, our van's full of candy now. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of sugar to, to keep us going along with the sugar from Eyebrow. <laughs> Where are we at, mate? We are at Glen Tenar, I think is how you say it, Nature Reserve, yep. uh, to do a almost six mile nature walk that should take us through rivers and through forests. We got our hiking boots on and we are ready to get out in nature and just to see how much more of Scotland's beauty we can find. Stop by the visitor center real quick. Got some helpful information and we made it 10 seconds down and then we got excited already. There's a river. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, on the bridge. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I think this two hour and 10 minute walk is going to be about five <laughs> hours with it. Yeah. I'm going to stop and look at everything. We got on all trails and downloaded the map. We also have a paper map and lots of snacks and lots of water. When we start the trail on all trails, it starts like the time. We didn't know this is new to us. Um, so we'll see how long it really takes us. <laughs> Did it start right now? Yeah, it's Okay, started. let's go then. Ah! Probably like two minutes in to a five second walk. <laughs> yeah. So this is a farmhouse. Jane, the park ranger was just telling us that back in the day, um, farmers used to like herd their cows this way and over down into Perthshire. And I guess they use this as like, I don't know, a resting place. Yeah. And then there's also a family cemetery here as well, which is what you're seeing. It's creepy. You gonna ring the bell? I think so. I don't know. Am I going to get in okay. trouble? I don't know. Wake the spirits. Can you go in? Oh no, it's locked. It's locked. But if you take a look at the roof, Mother Nature has is like totally reclaiming this building. I have never seen it like this before. So the farmhouse was used as like a catering facility. So people farmed this land, but they used this house, I guess, to service people who were bringing their cows through. Interesting, ah. in the 1800s. History. The more you know. The more you know. Let more, Evan tell you about it and then read the sign. The more I read from the sign, the more you know. There's a farmhouse turned into a chapel, I believe. Man, why are you asking me to explain stuff if you know what it is? Let's go. What are what? you looking at? The tree, look inside. Whoa. So besides all trails, how do we know how to get through this national park? I've got a map and they've made it easy so that even a child can understand it. We're following the green dotted path, AKA the pine cone path. So we just look for these little signposts that have a pine cone on it. Oh. Pine cone path. Pine cones. What about pine cones? <laughs> I don't know. So we just learned if people have been here more than a couple hundred years, it's 4,500 years since the Bronze Age people have lived here. The more you know. <laughs> I don't want to hold your hand. Yeah. I don't want your bossy McBossy thing. Hold your stupid hand. <laughs> I'm putting the audio with this. Oh, great, man. Yeah, so everybody knows how mean you are. Robbie, I can't make it anymore. This is the end. Uh, <sighs> All right, we can keep going. 
What's the name of that show? Race Across the World. Yeah, if you ever watch ra Race Across the World, I can't remember what season it is, but there's a wonderful woman named Jen, and her husband's name is Robbie. I've never identified more with anyone in my life than Jen, and she's always yelling, Robbie! And she tried to quit at the, like, they were right at the finish line, and she stopped to quit, and they lost by, like, minutes. That's when Evan starts complaining, is when she's minutes away from where we're going to be. True, and sorry, I should have given a spoiler alert, but they lose. Robbie! Going to the Naki viewpoint. Oh, even just right here, look at this. Look at all the mountains, the trees. Nature. Well, it's even a place to have a little rest. No rest for us. We're taking a nap already. True. Well, we are supposed to go down this way. She said a lot of people go to the viewpoint and keep walking, but that's not part of our trail. Pine cone path. Wah, wah. Danger, Careful. danger, danger. Not too good at nature yet. Not too good at nature. <laughs> I knew there were snakes out here. What you got there, man? Animal bones. I'm assuming they're animal bones. Just hanging on the thing. Gross. Who put them there? Why are they there? Did the person who put them there eat the animal? I have so many questions. Let's not hang out to find out. <gasps> oh, you scared the shit out of me, mate. Think I was going to fall in? No, I didn't know. I thought you were up there. Oh. The water feels nice and cool. It's so pretty. And the way the sun's just like hitting the water. I love it here. I love it here, Scotland. What snacks did you get us? Well, <laughs> nothing too good. Cookie dough crunch bar and a kind bar maple pecan almond. And I've got some trail mix. For the trail. Oh wow, good job. Yeah. All oh, right. I wish we had beef jerky though. Yeah, beef jerky would be nice. A nice selection to power through the second half of this trail. Let's go. Mm. Go, 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 go. Hey, what just happened? Well, a deer ran up in front of us, I don't know how many meters ahead, maybe like 30. Yeah, 20, 30 meters ahead, ran in the middle of the road, stopped, looked up at us for a little bit, and then booked it into the forest. And we were just talking about how cool it would be to see a deer, and then I got a vertical video. We'll see if we can put it up on the screen right now so you can see. <laughs> deer! Probably getting a drink from the river. Yeah. I was hoping he'd have some deer buddies around with him so we could see more. But Keep a look out. No deer yet. Oh. Something about nature that just really gets the serotonin flowing. No pun intended. <laughs> Makes you happy. It does. I'm so happy. I love Scotland. It smells like pine. Mm. Time for the rain jacket. Yeah. By the time I put it on, usually it stops raining, but this feels like a little bit more than sprinkle weather. Come on, melting! <sighs> All good. All good. Made it to the lock, but we can't enjoy it because it's pouring down rain. <laughs> That's what Maybe mean. it's not like old man's store, but now it is. Uh, Scotland, where you never know what the weather's gonna be. I know, I've had a sweater on, t-shirt on, now the rain jacket. <laughs> it's always changing. Ah, oh, it's like an angel. The sun, it feels so good. There's a way for about five minutes. 
Oh no. I missed her. We finally made it back. What did we estimate? This would take us three hours? Yeah, with the stopping and filming and everything. It was like two hours and five minutes, I think, for a normal, normal, normal people. Walk. So, yeah. <laughs> and we came in at two hours and 56 minutes. So not too shabby. Yeah. We had all different kinds of weather. It was cloudy, it was rainy, it was sunny, it was sunny and rainy. Yeah, you can even say that the uh, Glen Terran Walk is a magical place. It is. The rainbow. <laughs> well, this was a fun day, so now we're gonna head back to the van and call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope we've inspired you to come here to Glen Taren. Glen Taren, Colin. And Colin, get some Colin Skink soup, get some ice cream, have yourself a wonderful day. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, it's totally free to you. We have so many more adventures to share with you, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. All aboard at your own risk, the Colin Skink Express. <laughs> Colin Skink, choo choo.